Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Um... Welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Just out on my motor, halfway down to the uh, pub for a beer. That's okay with you. Um, it's been a lovely day again. Nice summer's day. Um, 20. 25 26 degrees really quite warm not really uh, used to working in these conditions obviously I'm away on holiday this weekend um, will the weather keep up I don't know you never know you might be lucky and get a, a nice break for the weekend um, I'm off down the pub for uh, wee beer it's okay like I say um, thanks again for all the new people that subscribe to my channel as I said before um, uh, I've not been in I've been in and out all week doing things um, getting my car checked out and uh, stuff it's running okay um, it's fine I think um, one or two things you got to sort out when you have a car but, um, but like I said, I've not been able to be in the house. I've been in and out all the time the last week. So whether they plan to come and visit me doesn't make any difference to me because, as I said before, I'm just out and about doing my own thing. And if they do come to your house, this is just a golden rule you have to be prepared to do, is that when they come onto the door, you say, no, thank you require license this, this address thank you very much and shut your door there's nothing else to do folks that's that's all you have to do you just do not engage with them don't sign anything and um, then we will see less fines on your front doorstep and eventually they'll stop doing this because they realize people of we realistically know that they cannot anymore get people to, to do anything on the front door. The, the actual thing uh, on the front door will no longer exist because, as I said before, it, it'd be a waste of time from coming to your door, knocking on the door, because everybody would be wise to them uh, what to say when they come knocking. That's 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 what it is, folks. And the main thing, the main thing why I do this, these videos about on the doorstep, I usually do some shorts, but as I said, as I'm going away for the weekend, um, I just thought I'd do a video now, um, wishing everybody, you know, hoping they get a nice and nice weather if they are going away on holiday. Uh, weather mind changes doesn't really make any difference. Um, it, 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 it's weather, you know, you can't predict the weather. And as uh, long as I get a bit of a break, because I have it's been a bit hectic with mum and dad. Uh, the last few weeks um, has been getting quite quite hectic with them. And you just need to charge batteries off a bit, you know, and um, my other brother, I've got another brother who's going to help out a bit. Uh, so I just need a break um, from it. And that's where I'm going, just to maybe on a beach somewhere and uh, just get a bit of sun and just, just, just rest up a bit. And um, that's what it's about, folks. It's just... Cheers, everybody, to... Uh... Welcome to the channel. This is my having a beer out on a lovely sun, sunny day, sunny day. Cheers, folks. God, I needed that. Uh, as I say, this is the weather. 20, 24, 24 to 5 degrees. You need, you sort of need some. Uh, you need something to keep you going. Uh, a nice beer, nice cool beer. That's what you need, folks. It really is. Um, there's a slight breeze here. I hope it's all, I hope the sounds all right. But as I said, it's it's really um, lovely to get a pint and cool down a bit. Um, yeah. So anyway, as you can see, um, the situation with the BBC at the moment—they've um, got a big black hole, like 
the government has said uh, with their finances. Uh, the TV, TV licensing audit, the TV licensing situation, what they, what the revenue they get from the BBC license fee is about 3.5 billion, just under 4 billion. Uh, half a million people haven't paid this year in the last 12 months. And so there's, there's a downfall, which is about 100 million. There's a downfall in the payments coming in. Maybe you know uh, half a million license fees. It's it's, it's 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 a lot of money. That's not coming back, and it keeps going down. And of course, more and more people once have stopped paying. There may be three million people out of that twenty-four million. It's difficult to get figures what that it is. But if you're not watching, you're not paying. So their their revenue is down what they normally get. And of course, once that happens, obviously they're in a situation where they have to they have to think of other other ways of funding the license, which they do anyway. Um, they're still getting six billion pound, nearly six million billion pound from other th other ventures like BBC um, Studios, BBC um, other other big box things like that. Other things they're doing. Cheers. The natural license fee. Is a thing of the past. They're, they're actually losing money on people re renewing the license, and paying for the license, because there's so many things now um, you can do without needing a license. That's why I say people are getting wise to it. It's not, not just my channel. I'm just passing it on to other people. What you can do if your license fee, like expect to see, that's as simple as that, folks. And the thing is. Other people like Channel 4, ITV, other channels survive without having to have this TV license imposed on the public, which is a tax really, it's a, it's a, it's a tax nation, which is um, there for you to, to pay if you're watching, if you're watching you have to pay it, and, but as I said, it, it's not state television, so you don't, everybody has to pay, if it's everybody has to pay for it, then it becomes state television. And if it's state television, folks, uh, we're in Russia. And I don't fancy living in Russia. Um, I fancy my freedom, like we're doing now, having a chat to you. And all of a summer's day, like I say, really, really, really hot. As I said before, it's entirely up to you whether you become license free. You have that choice and of course obviously live television is a monopoly that BBC have got unfortunately they've got the monopoly and it's only you the folk people the public out there the public who are watching this video who, who are, want to become licensed free that have realized that it's you that have the power not politicians about it. it's just stop paying you know it's like you know you go into a shop and you buy, you buy something and you got to pay for it if you take it, take it away, and you know, it's shoplifting, like you know, pay for it, shoplifting. So if, you, if you're looking at the BBC, your, your terrestrial television is coming to your house for free. It's their fault. You can watch it and just say to them, "I'm not watching," but prove it. You know, whatever. If you are watching illegally, it's wrong. You know, I totally agree with that. But I don't watch. You see, I don't watch the BBC, so I have nothing to fear. If they want to get some evidence against me. Well, well and good. But I don't watch, so uh, they can't prosecute me or say I'm doing something illegal, which they try say you're doing anyway, whichever way you look at it. But I'm not. Like everything else, folks, it, it's it's a matter of choice what you've got. I mean, <clears throat> you've got YouTube. It's a great channel called YouTube, which you're on now. There's other things you can watch, other things you can watch. If people pass on things like I'm trying to do, document it all here what you're doing nothing illegal I'm not watching I'm not paying so there's nothing to, to worry about uh, um, you committed any offense because it's your right to say well I don't want to watch anymore and uh, as long as you're watching catch up and legally watching things uh, as it's not broadcast live you've nothing to fear nothing to fear from them and that's how they, they run their business on fear 
So wh whatever you do, taking my advice, I'm only trying to advise people um, to do the same as me. Um, I don't pay which is going to be nearly £200 a year. If the, if the BBC would like to put their licence fee up, it's under, under £69, pound, £170 million, £170 pound, roughly. They would put, it would have gone up to £200 pound by now. But the government did put a cap on it, but they couldn't increase it. But they'd like to put up to £200. Pound. So £200 pound a year is something that you can do something else with other than watching the BBC. You know, I mean, I'm going away this this week on holiday somewhere. Uh, it's a bit of extra money in your pocket. Why pay the BBC two hundred pound for watching something that you don't want to watch? You know, that's that's the the aim of the channel. And at the same time, it, it's your freedom to do what you want to do with your with your money. But at the same time, the last thing I want to do is to see anybody else get fined. I mean. Obviously, the great Chibli John's channel, a great channel, Chibli John. Um, he was going through the fines at the front door, and people, over 50,000 people getting fined at your front door. Um, you know, people going to court actually paying a fine and, and getting getting found out, or whatever whatever has happened, they've gone to court where they got found out, or if they're doing it illegally, it's your own fault, of course, but telling people something that you. You invite them in the house and they've, 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 they've tried to, um, you know, prosecute you. But if you be, if you obey my simple rules, like Inspector CV, if you become like me, if I get fined, let me know, I will let you know. But of course I won't because there's no way I can get fined because, or go to court because I'm not watching. It's like having a television set in the house. Well, the television set in my house, I do what I want to do with it. I watch things that I want to watch, when I want to watch, and how I want to watch. And that basically is, folks, is where the way it is in 2023, uh, 24 rather, 24. That's the way people do it. And kids coming from school, when I was coming home from school, I think I was a kid, uh, you, you don't come on watch Jack and Ori uh, with people and telling you stories and stuff and um, kids. So the younger generation are growing up and they don't really watch BBC television as such as I used to as I was a kid. So as time moves on, things change and that's how life is. Things change in life, you know? And it's like I said, the people's habits change. I mean, I'm on my phone now filming this to you. Everything basically is on your phone. It's like walking around with a TV set on your phone. So I mean, <laughs> the loophole was was sorted out with the with the with the internet, with the iPlayer, when the BBC launched the iPlayer. And uh, I still believe that's where they should go with it on a subscription basis. I mean, I would I would subscribe to it for say five or six pound a month, something like that. Uh, a, a, you know, a, a, a small fee, monthly fee. And um, it's on the internet, of course, I, w I, would, I would subscribe to it. And there's programs like, I mean, I wouldn't watch Strictly Come Dancing and stuff because it doesn't interest me. But with an iPlayer at the format they've got, you can watch what you want to watch, drama programs, con controversial programs like, you know, uh, documentaries or something like that, uh, films, stuff. So y you can have a your choice what you want to watch. And, and that's... The trouble with the BBC with this license fee, they try and cover so many things for everybody. You know, that's the that's the problem with it. And of course, when it becomes a situation where you're paying on a monthly subscription, you have a choice of what you want to watch, when, when you want to watch it, how you want to watch it, and that's how it should go. I can feel the warmth of that sun as the sun's going down now this afternoon. Nice afternoon with you having a chat to you. Um, Kato is a bit hot with this weather. He's not be able to go out for walks. It's too hot for him. Um, he'd like to go out when it's cooled down a bit but I'm not with Kato today because it's just too hot for him. And that's why I'm having a beer with you 
sharing a beer with you and thanking you for, for all your subscriptions, your, your messages of support from the channel, uh, like leaving some comments and stuff. And, and I'm, I'm just like yourselves, you know, if you're new to it all, I've been doing it six or seven years now, maybe eight years, but the point is, if you're new to it, you need some somebody to sort of say, yeah, it's all documented here for you, what you have to do to become license free like Inspector C. And if you um, follow me, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Here's, here's a beer for you. Cheers. And um, if I have any problems, I will let you know because I'm, I'm in the same as a, same boat as everybody else who's not paying a TV license. I'm not a, t a television license evader, which is the, what they like to call you, because you know, if I didn't have a television in the house, I didn't have a television. Some people, there are some people out there who don't have a television. You may have a laptop, you may have a phone, like I'm on the phone now. Um, so the license fee is not for a television, it's a television license fee. If you haven't got a television, what right have they got to say that you need it to, to watch the internet um, on your phone or any other device it's just a monopoly that they've got and of course like folks with this new charter coming up or the charter coming up shortly in 2027 another three years time it's not going to happen overnight the license fee is still going to be there for another three years but it's only you the public can make the change I'm afraid it's only that you can do it and I'm just advising you I mean um to be back a bit of a community here of people uh, with the Royal Mail they fought back the Royal Mail to all the management in there, there and they got together and said right no we don't want this anymore we, we, we're being victimised we're being prosecuted for nothing and that's why I say I don't want to see anybody else get fined go to court over a TV licence over a TV licence having to go to full court and maybe pay a £200 fine it's never a £1,000 it may be on if you refuse to pay and they go to jail. If they did, if they did find me or try to find me, I would go to jail. I'd see you in jail, folks. I would pay the fine on a principal that it's going to cost them five grand a week to send me to jail. To look to them. So you want to get fined a thousand pounds on top of what you get sent to jail for refusing to pay. The thousand pound fine is refusing to pay, which which I would do, of course, uh, on principle that uh, I don't watch. But, but to do that, they'd have to get evidence that I'm watching the BBC. And of course, they can't get that because I'm not watching folks, I'm not paying. So it's as simple as that. There's no, there's no other need for them to come to my house because I've already told them I by declaration. But you see, with the BBC, you're you're guilty, you're guilty, mate, guilty, folks. Um, before you before you tell anything to them, they're saying they're saying because it's free. It's coming it's coming into your house. I trust the television. You're watching and not paying. That they they find you guilty anyway before you've got even gone to court and have any evidence. That's the way it is, folks. That's the way they are. That's how they've always been. That you're guilty before you. Well, in this country, you're supposed to be innocent before you're guilty. As far as I know, or innocent, you have to be proven guilty. Don't, as far as I know, in court, everybody's guilty. To, guilty. Uh, sorry, innocent before they're guilty. As far as I know. Or the BBC, they, you're guilty before you're innocent. If you know what I mean. It's the other way around with the BBC. They think you're guilty. Of committing a crime, one in eight people. That's it, right. One in eight people make the mistake when they become, when they stop paying the license fee. One in eight people. Now I don't make a mistake. I'm not watching. I'm not paying. There's no mistake in that, is there? If you can tell me out there, leave, leave your comments, folks, and um, tell me is that any, is any mistakes in that? I'm not watching. I'm not paying. It's that simple. So anyway, folks, I'm coming to the last bit of my beer. I, I can't have another one because I'm driving. And I've just had a, a, a busy day. But um, anyway, folks, thanks again to everybody who subscribed to my channel. And like I said, 
leave your comments give me a thumbs up if you can the channel is going going quite well you know i'm getting more subscribers i, I really appreciate it and of course i will see you on the next one hopefully not in jail um if i am i'll do my videos from jail maybe i don't know anyway folks have a good summer if you can and um, i'll see you on the next one bye for now Cheers.